Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're going to take a look at Mythor Action number 3 Master 110 Scale Guardian the Whore. And this is a quote, they are nobody but for a moment in your memory. Not sure what they're trying to say here, but I've had to guess from Chinese, Mandarin, and translation and all that. I guess they're trying to say that um, there are characters that leave deeply in our memory. And age 17 plus. But anyways, um, I grew up as a Blizzard gamer, so I definitely love the Playmaster, Warcraft, World of Warcraft, whatever. Like just, yeah, this is definitely my jam. And if you guys haven't noticed already, this is a uh, implied Playmaster. And here is the left of the box. Here is the right of the box. This is a huge box. And I think this is like a teaser on who they're gonna release, but I can't really tell by just looking at the shadows here. Well, let me know in the comments if you know, but th this might be Murloc. I don't really care about Murlocs, but what are these? Hmm. Maybe I'm just not that big of a fan after all. But yeah, Blame Master or Implied Blame Master. The color is a little bit different and stuff, but yeah, we had the previous two releases. So this is going to be very, very cool. I can already imagine. And unfortunately, I think they're still using the same body. So the lower body articulation will be a little bit weaker. Kind of wish like they can kind of, you know, shrink the size of the thighs or something so it'll give you more articulation because i imagine blame master to move very very fast but anyways let's bust this thing open and see what we got and here's the figure still in the inner packaging looking very massive um just to give you guys a quick idea how big this thing is um here are some sh fig arts and yeah let's check it out all right, and here we have the figure itself. And my first impression on this figure is of course really good. Um, he's basically exactly as I imagined, but rightfully so because it's using the same exact body as the previous releases. And all the armor pieces you see here are on a softened material, which is really nice. I kind of wish like more companies do this. Um, maybe Storm Collectible will do this because I don't collect Storm. And I do remember one of my um, viewer telling me that uh, one of the engineers used to work at Storm Collectible is now working for Mythro Action Figures. So I guess that kind of explains it. Oh, it kind of sucks. I have a little paint chip here. But yeah, for the most part, the paint job is beautiful. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just a beautiful looking piece. I, I really don't know what else to say about it. Um, the mask is cool. You have this like all Japanese kind of armor thing going on here. Um, we have some like, d d d like this horns like from the deer. It it's, just, it's just really nice. I like this. Very, very cool. And the paint job is really clean for the most part, and it's just like the, the figure feels really nice. Hmm. Ooh, oh, and I think this is like for the um, for the the, the flag. Hmm. And then cloth goods, it's just wow, this is cool. But yeah, um, personally, I only care about the Blade Master look, so this armor is like kind of an extra for me. Um, but eh, it is what it is and I don't think he can look exactly as Blade Master because um, this is kind of like their own reimagining because I think Blade Master wears sandals and we don't have sandals here um, we have barefoot but eh, it is what it is still very cool and let's check out the articulation let me um, take off the armor first and before we get into the articulation I stripped some of the armor pieces down to make him look like the Blade Master I remember and love and I think it looks really good for the most part I might have to put the boots back on. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't come with the sandals, but um, it's as close as it could be. Because after all, this is not like a one-to-one -one, um, design of the Blade Master. It's kind of like their own reimagining, right? And I think there's this other company called Hero Toys that's also making a Blade Master. And I think that one strictly follows the original design. So I'm also very excited about that. But overall, um, I do like this look. Uh, I'm going to try to put the boots back on when we're doing the action posing. But yeah, this is really nice. The beads is nice. Everything about it looks um, pretty straightforward and exactly as I imagined. One thing I like about this company is that, um, yeah, it's exactly as advertised. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. You can look up about this much. Obviously, you can't really look down on the beard over here hinders it, but it is on a soft material and you can move the hair around like that. But you got to be careful um, not to break this. Like, if you drop him from somewhere high, um, I think there's a really high possibility that this thing just snaps. And then the beads, it's a bead. And then for the body, it is exactly the same as the previous releases. I might have to use some shock oil because my bicep swivel is really, really tough here. Like this is just, ugh, I don't feel comfortable with that. And then you can curl about this much. Um, the armor piece over here is going to be a little hindering. You do have pull out method. Um, the chest and the body piece is on a soft material, including the neck here, which is really nice. Um, but also has its own downside. Um, I kind of can't 
really line the apps up once like I've moved it around a little bit too much. I um, just kind of sit um, a little bit tilted and sometimes like um, that gets a little bit annoying but um, the play feel is really really nice with the softer material. But I think the reason why this is happening is because um, the lower body here we have this armor piece also um, this thing for the flag and it kind of like pushes up a little bit so makes it a little bit like bunched up there so it's kind of hard to um, let it sit straight but anyways um, it is what it is I digress and for the lower body and the leg it's exactly the same as the previous body um, but with all this armor I can't really show you guys but it's really just like a big ball joint you do have a little bit of a swivel here um, within the ball joint so yeah not too much um, to talk about here but you can bend about this much which is really nice you can see like knee bend there and then there is your toe hinge and the pivot is also really nice and yeah i believe that's it for the articulation nothing we haven't seen and let's check out the accessories but i think the only thing to look at is probably just the sword but eh, let's look at it and for the accessories, we can start with interchangeable hands, and they kept it very consistent. Um, the pointing hands, I don't really care, and this gripping hands or like display open hands, I kind of wish we have something more dynamic. Um, I don't really care for this one. And for the fist hands, it's nice to have, um, and yeah, weapon holding hands. So yeah, not that strong in terms of the um, interchangeable hands department. Um, and we do have his giant sword. I don't remember exactly what his sword looks like. I might have to check out some um, videos or like images. But yeah, um, it looks pretty good. And I really like um, the detail on this. It's, there's a fair amount of paint job and it's a little bit of like a weathering effect. Um, it, yeah, it's pretty good. It's just a really nice sword. And for the, um, the flag over here, I think this reads Slash. Um, kind of looks like the Chinese character for Slash, but yeah. Um, this is also really nice. I like the detail. You have like real, actually this is like, yeah, this is like real chain over here. So yeah, that's cool. But I don't think this is the sign for Blade Master though. So again, this guy is supposed to be someone cosplaying as Blade Master. But anyways, I believe that's everything. And let's check out some action posing. And for the size comparison, let us start with some orcs from the same series, and I think they look absolutely beautiful together. I love it. And let me know in the comments on what you think, but it's just so surreal to me that we're getting figures like this. Even though these are not exactly um, like the ones I remember in Warcraft, they're close enough. Like these are basically just Warcraft. If someone just see this figure, they're just gonna think like Warcraft, like everybody knows, right? And I will never in a thousand years nowadays to trust Blizzard to do something like this. Um, they're not even doing that well with their gaming. Like, they're so out of touch. So yeah, I don't think they're going to do high-end action figures anytime soon or ever. Because they're no longer Blizzard, just Activision Blizzard. But yeah, um, even though these are just exactly the same bodies, um, they managed to make this figure feel very, very different with the accessories, the armor. It's just so smart. This company is just so smart. Um, they managed to save costs and at the same time um, make us feel that the figures are different enough that we'll keep paying. At least personally, that's how I feel. Um, but I'm really curious what they're going to do next, right? Because if they're just going to keep using the same body, um, I think I'll get tired very quickly. Um, hopefully, if they're going to do something uh, more with these body, um, I would like to see fell orcs. I'm talking about the, the red ones, right? The red skin. Um, that would be really cool. But... I don't know, let me know in the comments. They might be doing Arthur, because I've seen it, but I don't know, um, that could just be like a rumor. Anyways, um, let me know in the comments if you know more about this line, and let's move on. And next up, we have some Dragon Ball SH figure arts, and even though these are supposed to be 110 scale, I actually think these scales fairly well. Um, well, I don't know, because Warcraft characters tend to look a little bit weird in terms of their body shape, so yeah, maybe... Um, this should shrink a little bit just to be one top scale, hmm. but it is what it is. I think it looks pretty good. And next up, we have my favorite, the Naruto SH Fig Arts. Um, can't wait what they're gonna make next. And then we have some JJK SH Fig Arts. 
And then we have some One Piece and Chainsaw Man. And again, Chainsaw Man series is so slow nowadays. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue collecting at this point. And then we have some of my favorite Mayfax figures. And lastly, we have some Figma figures. Um, and I think if Death Stranding 2 does well, we're going to see more Death Stranding figures. I think that will be really cool. Um, the trailer looks absolutely beautiful. And yeah, let's jump straight into final thoughts. All right, so for the final thoughts, I think this figure is pretty much exactly as I imagined. If you are a big fan of Warcraft 3 and Dota like me, this one's definitely a must have, like trip down to the memory link. It's just so cool. And yeah, I'm really curious what this company is gonna make next, but whatever they make, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty decent. Like it's just one thing about this company is that they give you exactly as advertised and the quality is very, very consistent. The paint job is clean. Um, joints are nice and durable. I actually dropped this figure while I was filming it, um, while I was changing the accessories, and nothing happened. It's just it's really durable. Anyways, um, yeah, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.